humid as Kansas City. We're walking. How far of a walk do you think it is? Babe? Two miles? Three uh, miles? A mile. A mile? Oh. Well, that's, that's embarrassing. Whew. Maggie Mays! My favorite. Well, my favorite favorite probably is Columbia. Then Maggie Mays. We know your favorite is Backwaters, right? The good fried shrimp basket. Oh wow. I am looking tore up from that walk. I think it was about a two mile walk from the condo. We don't really come down here in the beginning of June. It's much hotter now. We're at my favorite restaurant. Come on. Look at that one there. This is the view from the back of the strip center and right outside of Columbia. There's a sailing center right over there. That's what those little sailboats are, the sailing class. Little kids do these classes every summer. So they learn how to sail in those little boats. And then you can, it's a community center, so you can pay like a nominal fee for the year and like rent these little sailboats anytime. This salad is the reason I crave Columbia's all the time. It's called the 1905 salad and it is delicious. So it usually doesn't rain for long in Florida. This will probably pass in like five minutes top, maybe 10. Although crazily enough, right here in Clearwater Beach yesterday, um, somebody got struck by lightning. Like a storm came in suddenly and they were... So Clearwater Beach, Florida is one of my husband and I's favorite place to come to. Um, when we first started coming here seven years ago, um, every summer, there was a lot less activity than there is now. It's always been considered like the best family beach in Florida but it's since become a mixture of still a family beach with a little more excitement nightlife um, newer hip bars and restaurants and it's ever growing but it's still just a really chill awesome place like to the covered safety thinking it wasn't raining anymore and it started raining again There's Pier 60. Oh, nothing makes me happier. So, Clearwater Beach, at least when we come in the beginning of June, it's never this busy. This is like spring break for you. I'm not. Where we stay is Sand Key, and the beach is basically private. So, Sand Key Beach is basically has no one on it. Like, there will be two or three people. There's the pier. Every night at sunset, there's a festival at the pier. And there's like amazing street performers, craft people, all kinds of stuff. Like, it is really cool for like families, anyone. Little date nights. There's like some really, really awesome street performers. People who like breathe, like breathe fire and do like acrobatics and crazy stuff, put knives down their mouth. Okay, this is a first. It's like a little driving bar, car on the beach. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I don't even drink and I think that's brilliant. I'm sure they have 
other drinks besides just alcohol. So these lifeguard stands are highly photographed and fairly famous. There's so many different ones all along the beach. Like, see that one? That one down there is brown. Last time we were here, I photographed a couple of them, but I only got these two, and I'm gonna go further down. I'm gonna go further down and get different ones. There's birds that are ooh, that one looks rough. That one looks a little scary. He's like trying to scare all the rest of them. Most of them look kind of nice. decided I'll just sit down and relax because at this point I'm lay out for a bit. At this point I'm already sopping wet so why not? The sun's coming out. Get a little sun. It is remarkable that it went from green to this. I'm just sitting and enjoying it. I found a solution to my um, lack of swimwear and purse in the ocean. I turned it up. It just feels too good to not enjoy the water. I always think it's cool that Clearwater Beach has these huge inflatable things for kids or adults that like to be like I left for the airport at 3.30 a.m. and I hadn't slept. I still haven't slept. My flight was at 5. The Starbucks was closed at MCI so I couldn't get any coffee before I got on the plane. Didn't have any coffee before I left the house. And then we had turbulence, so they didn't serve beverages right away on my flight. So didn't get coffee till like you know 7 a.m. to find the water fountain. Okay, we have a sighting. It could potentially be a manatee. If it's a manatee, I'm gonna lose my ever-loving mind. I will look. Oh, there it is. It's a dolphin. Dolphin sighting. Dolphin sighting. I lost it. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Right there. Oh, 
when I'm when I'm closer. It's hard to see where they're at in the water. Now I know where he's at. I can see very clearly where he's at. This is epic. This is a good one. This dolphin is epically amazing. He's right there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <gasps> all right, we have all the necessary essentials for a beach bike adventure to see the sunset. You gotta have the bag for the seashells. We have a selfie stick to take the video. We have the camera. We have the coffee. I'm not much of a quitter, but it first off took me like 15 minutes to find the locker. And it's rusted. I can't find any lubricant, but I have done everything I can to try to loosen it up. I looked up tips online, said rub all the debris off, tried that. I'm really not a quitter, but after 20 minutes of trying to jiggle this lock open, it doesn't appear like it's going to happen for me. Luckily, the sunset's not like the most epic thing ever. And it looks like it could potentially rain because my husband will be able to fix the situation for sure because he can fix everything always. But yeah, I'm sweaty now again, gross. It's been a long day. I was also gonna take the bike to get something to eat. So that's probably most depressing. You know, maybe everything happens for a reason. Do you see the storm back there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, you know, really wanted to take the bike to the beach for the sunset and just in general. I have a semi charmed life, but it can't be perfect, right? If everything always went my way, I wouldn't appreciate everything that I have. And I appreciate everything that I have so much. So, yeah. I guess we'll just enjoy it from here. So I always joke that I'm God's favorite, but I believe that's never been more true than in this moment. I'm like epically lucky I didn't get stuck in this. It has not started raining yet, but I can feel it. And I have been in like some serious storms down here, like tropical storms. And that can be really, really scary. So, God is good. You know, earlier guys, when I said my husband would be able to get into it because he can get into anything. And he's the master of all things. Well, it appears I was wrong. He cannot, in fact, get into the lock. <laughs> Not that you're the master of all things. Just that you cannot. <laughs> you're putting that on YouTube. I don't know where I'm putting it. Yeah, I can't put it on YouTube. Yeah, I can. I can bleep it out. You looked really cute, though, when you turned around. Your face was adorable. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could open it. 